back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, this is a very, very exciting video for you guys. This is probably one of the most exciting fragrances, if not the most exciting, it's hard to say, um, fragrance I've got from Fragrance Buy. I have been putting off this purchase for so, so long. It is not a blind buy. I've tried this one and you can see from the title what it is, but here she is, my beloved Lipstick Rose by Frederick Mall. Um, the fragrance, or the perfumer I should say is Ra Ralph Sch Schweiger. Schweiger. Um, and I've just been in love with this ever since I first smelled it. This is my first Frederick Mall fragrance. I've really, really, really wanted one, um, namely this one, but there's I think two more that I'm interested in, maybe eventually. And thankfully, because I got it on Fragrance Buy, like I do with mostly everything, um, it was for a lot better of a deal. And so I just went for it. I finally went for it. I'm so, so happy. Something really exciting happened to me in my personal life. So I wanted to gift myself something to celebrate. And this is definitely that gift. So let's start off with the notes and then we'll get into the nitty gritty because I love this scent. Um, this has violet, rose, musk, vanilla, amber, iris, raspberry, and grapefruit. And the description of this was Marilyn and Technicolor, vulnerable, even brash. Lipstick Rose is R Ralph Schweiger's vision in glamorized femininity. A perfume that smiles at you like a dash of lipstick with rose and violet flavored bourbon scent. There's a whole lot more, but I will just say it's 100% my favorite lipstick fragrance I've ever had. I knew it was um, before because I've definitely done, maybe I haven't. Let me know if you want a lipsticky video because I'd love to do it. But I've tried this one several years ago and I try it every time I see it in store. And a lot of fragrances come close, but nothing has ever come close to this. I've just never put it in my favorites videos because I haven't owned it. But here she is. It's actually a nice bottle, not the fanciest, but well worth it. I, I have the 100 mil. I've worn this a whole lot, whole lot already, so I can definitely let you guys know. I will spray it now, too. Um, it's not a magnetic cap, but it clips really beautifully, and you can pit it, pick it up from the cap, which is my number one rule with caps, the most important thing. But here it is. Frederick Mall bottles, I will say, in terms of design and style, are either your style or not. With a lot of niche houses, they tend or they might do this thing where the bottles all pretty much look the same except for the name and maybe slight coloring um, or the juice, but it's just a simple style. I don't mind it. It's not my favorite bottle in the world, but the scent, you guys, it's just perfection. It really is, what was that description he gave? Because I felt like it was, um, it's vulnerable and even brash. I think that's a really good distinct view on what lipstick rose smells like or at least the vibe of it and it may just be the gemini thing that i'm going to describe as as well but i feel like it's got a real duality to it because on one side it's got quite a soft super ultra feminine lipsticky scent right you've got that lipstick vanilla rose you've got like a muskiness a powderiness there's iris and on the other end, there's a real, I don't get grapefruit. I, I really don't get grapefruit, so I won't say that. But there's a real, like, almost sticky, I think they said bourbon, but like, deep, rich, um, strong, and slightly overboard side to the lipstick rose that I think just elevates the scent because it keeps it from being flighty and just kind of fleeting and there's real grounding to the scent that doesn't take away from the lipstickiness. That's what I've been afraid of because sometimes I think it was the um, Juliet has a gun lipstick something lipstick fever. I think it has leather or something in it where they were probably trying to ground it in something and I haven't tried that one in ages to be fair to that scent. I've just sampled it but I feel like it took away from the lipsticky vibe to add in those scents that didn't complement it and just aim to ground it. Whereas this 
it's like still grounded and it lasts forever. So let's get to projection and lasting power. Um, I only wear two sprays of this at a time. I haven't worn more because I haven't felt like I needed to, partially because it's expensive and it's my still my new baby, but really partially because you get really good scent throw and projection and lasting power with two sprays. Um, it's not one of those niche fragrances where you're left wondering where the lasting power and perfume oils are. I feel like I don't have the most experience with Frederick Mall as a whole because this is the first scent I've owned from them. But even when I've sampled them in stores or sprayed them on scent cards and, you know, gone home with like little itty bitty samples, they tend to perform very well as a house. But Lipstick Rose in and of itself for being a lighter scent in terms of its notes, you know, with Violet and Iris and all that, um, I think it performs really well. And while I wouldn't say it's beast mode, I think it's definitely on the higher range and better than average. So love that about Lipstick Rose. The next thing that really st stuck out to me personally is how long in the wear process it kind of smells the same. I would say on my skin and to my nose, personally, I found every time I'm wearing this, the opening and the heart to me smell very, very similar, if not exactly the same. And it's not until that dry down or when it's really kind of at its weakest several, several hours in that I feel like it's changed on my skin. So if you like the way it smells right away and you like how strong and beautiful and kind of, it doesn't have an amberiness to it, even though there's amber in it, but it kind of gives it like an extra oomph of warmth um, and how deep and rich the lipsticky, powdery, violet rose um, is, then you will enjoy that because it really does smell exactly, at least on my skin, the same in the opening as it does in the heart. And for most of the day, that's really what you're getting. In its dry down um, and, you know, to when it's a skin scent, I would say it kind of reduces in terms of how much it smells lipsticky and still smells like lipstick, but is quite a bit more soft iris powder. Um, again, I personally don't get any uh, grapefruit. I never have. Maybe it'll come up at a certain point and my nose will pick it up, but I've never smelled any grapefruit to it. And even the raspberry note, because I'm not a fan of raspberry, I would, I would say maybe it's just adding to some sweetness um, and fruitiness to it overall, but I wouldn't say it's a very distinct raspberry note. The way that um, in Girl of Now Forever, for example, that's got a really strong raspberry lemon, and I hate that about it um, because I don't like that sort of raspberry, but... I wouldn't say it's prominent in this one at all. And it's really just more of a, a vintage red powdery, you know how like those old vintage lipsticks were kind of waxy and powdery looking when you looked at them? Sort of like that lipstick scent. This is the be all and end all. I don't think anything is going to kind of surpass it in my lifetime. Um, I'd be happy to be proven wrong, but there is a real similarity to this and I would love if you guys are interested, I could kind of compare it in a dupe video that I do later on, but there's a real similarity to the violet rose muskiness of this and the Zara sense of glam, which was an OG and it's still for me, that kind of like warmth and amped up in your faceness that that has, I really sense in this. And I'm actually really interested in trying them next to one another because A, there is a huge um, price discrepancy and B, Sense of Glam by Zara has been discontinued for a very long time and is impossible to find. But it was one of my OG loves back when I started this channel. So many of you bought it because of me and liked it as well. And so if you're missing that kind of amped up in your face lipstick rose scent, then Frederick Mall has got it down pat. Love that about it. And finally, because like I mentioned, this is the first one from the house that I've picked up. 
um, and that I picked it up on Fragrance Bot. I'll link it below in the description box below if you want to check it out yourself. I have been perusing now um, on the website to see if I do want a second bottle, which one will it be? I'd love to hear from you guys and your experience, either especially with Lipstick Rose and how you think it wears on you, but if you feel like there's any, now that you know my taste and how much I absolutely adore and will recommend Lipstick Rose to everyone, um, which one from the house you'd recommend for me? I'm thinking Mascavagel personally, but um, I'd be really, really happy to hear from you guys because every time I've worn this, and I don't get compliments on all of my lipsticky scents or all my fragrances in general, but I've had people comment about this just in the few times I've worn this of like how incredible this smells. And I think my skin in general does really well with lipsticky powdery scents. Um, it happens to be great because I love those scents anyways, but my body chemistry does well with them. And this just has such a beautiful scent throw and sillage that I feel like I feel so ultra feminine and yet badass when I wear this. So love this welcoming officially Lipstick Rose by Frederick Mell into my fragrance collection. I, if I ever had to do like the top 20 video that I did again, this would 100% have to be part of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this small but very important Mighty Haul. Definitely let me know in the comments below which Frederick Mall I should get next or that you love or how you feel about Lipstick Rose. Check out the description box, follow me on Instagram and subscribe here and I'll see you next time. Bye!